from where we stopped yesterday. So we stopped at question number 50. And question number 50 uh, said, uh, find, okay, 51, sorry. 51 said, find, find the coefficient, find the coefficient of x raised to power 3, okay, in the expansion, expansion of 1 minus x, all raised to power 1 over 2, okay, solution. This is very, very simple. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have, um, we know that 1 plus x, all raised to power n, that the expansion is what? 1 plus nx plus n into n minus 1 x squared over what? 2 factorial plus n into n minus 1 n minus 2 x to the power 3 all over what? 3 factorial. So now since they say then plus dot 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 it continues plus dot 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 now. Since they say we should find the coefficient of x to the power 3. So we are interested in this one alone. So I'm going to have that what? n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 x with power 3 over what 3 factorial so if you compare this now with this question you see that what my n is 1 over 2 why my x is minus x so you are going to put everything so this is equal to what 1 over 2 into 1 over 2 minus 1 into 1 over 2 minus 2 then in bracket of minus x with power 3 all over what uh, 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1 so this is equal to what 1 over 2 into this minus this minus 1 over 2 this minus this minus 3 over 2 then this to the power this will give you minus x to the power 3 because this is an odd number so the minus will remain all over what 6 so this is equal to um all these two will come down so i have uh, minus times minus plus plus times minus is minus i'm having minus 3 x raised to power 3 all over what 2 times this time that is 8 times 6 so but this can cancel this one this can cancel this 6 so i'm having minus 1 over what 16 x raised to power 3 so the answer the coefficient is simply minus 1 over 16 so the coefficient the coefficient is minus 1 over 16 and that's all so let's move to the next question Question number 52, right? Question number 52 said, um, they said, they said the, the R term, the R term UR is given, is given, is given by U R is equal to three plus two U R plus one. Okay, and and U four and U four is equal to thirty plus U two. U four is equal to thirty plus U two. Then I say find find U five. Okay, this is very simple. So let's go to solution from what they gave us. They said that U four is equal to what thirty plus what U two okay now what is u2 from this place so anywhere you see r from the main formula put two so therefore u4 is equal to what 30 plus what u2 is set as saying uh u2 is set as saying three plus two u two plus one which is two u3 okay so this is now um u in fact u4 u4 is the same thing as saying um u4 is set as saying 3 plus what? 2u5. Okay? So this is equal to what? This plus this will give you 33 plus what? 2 in bracket of what is my u3? u3 is simply as saying 3 plus 2u4. Uh -huh. So that is that. So I'm having that what? Um, 33. In fact, this one can go here to have that what? 2u5 is equal to what? Um, 33 minus 3 will give you 30. 30 plus what? This time this. 6. Plus this time this. 4. 4 U4. Uh -huh. And what is U4? We know U4. So our 2 U5 is equal to what? 36. This plus this 36. Plus 4 in bracket of U4. Is it not saying 3 plus 2 U5? Okay. So this is what? 2 U5 is equal to what? 36 plus what? 12 plus what? 8 U5. 
So collect like terms, I'm going to have that what? 2U5 minus 8U5 is equal to uh, 36 plus this will give you 48. 48. So I'm going to have minus 6U5 is equal to 48. So therefore, U5 is equal to what? 48 divided by minus 6, which is a uh, minus 8. So the answer is simply minus 8. Okay. So let's move to the next one. Question number 53. Question number 53. Number 53 said that we should find n, find n if n minus 2 combination 1 is equal to 7. Very simple something. So what do you do? This is them are saying n minus 2 combination 1 is equal to 7 like they gave us. Now let's use the formula for combination, which is what? n minus 2 all factorial all over 1 factorial then n minus 2 minus 1 factorial okay which is equal to 7 like they gave us because n combination r is what n factorial all over r factorial then n minus r factorial don't forget that is what i used here so this is now what n minus 2 all factorial is equal to 1 factorial is still 1 so this minus this will give you n minus 3 factorial is equal to 7 so n minus 2 factorial is something as saying n minus 2 into n minus 2 minus 1 which will give you n minus 3 factorial all over n minus 3 factorial is equal to 7 why because why this is equal to this is because n factorial is something as saying n into n minus 1 so that is why i said that n minus 2 factorial is something as n minus 2 into n minus 2 minus 1 so that minus 2 minus 1 will give you minus 3 so this is taking care of this so we are left with we are now left with what that n minus 2 is equal to what 7 so n is equal to what 7 plus 2 so n is equal to what 9 as simple as that so let's move to the next one question number 54 question number 54 Question number 54 said, let 3z bar be equal to minus 4 plus 6i. Then I said, find, find the imaginary part. Okay. Now, to find the imaginary part is a very simple something. So, what do we do? Solution. Solution. We have that what? That 3z bar is equal to minus 4 plus 6i. What is z bar? Z itself is equal to x plus y i. But z bar is equal to the conjugate, which is x minus y i. So now let's put it. 3 in bracket of x minus y i is equal to minus 4 plus 6 i. So open the bracket this time this. 3x minus 3 y i is equal to minus 4 plus 6 i. Now compare the real to the real and the imaginary to the imaginary. So therefore, 3x is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to what? Minus 4 over 3. Then the imaginary said minus 3yi is equal to what? 6i. So I will take care of i. Therefore, y is equal to what? 6 divided by minus 3, which is what? Minus 2. So the imaginary part, my z, don't forget that z is equal to x plus yi, which is equal to what? My x is minus 4 over 3 plus into minus 2i so you see that the imaginary part is what minus 2i so that is that minus 2i okay so that is that very very simple we move to the next one question number 55 and question number 55 said find Find the constant. Find the constant term in the expansion in the expansion of x plus one over x raised to power ten. Okay. Find the constant term in the expansion of this solution. Very simple something. We know that if you want to expand a plus b all raised to power n, that is equal to the summation of what. R starting from 0 to n of n combination R, A raised to power n minus R, B raised to power R. This formula is very simple. But since we don't want to expand it, we just want to find a particular term. So this is the formula we are going to use. Okay? So I have the word N combination R 
a raised power n minus r b raised power r is equal to now my n is what is there compare this to this my n is 10 my a is x why my b is 1 over x so let us put everybody so i'm having 10 combination r i don't know my r but my a a is equal to what x raised to power 10 minus r why my b is what 1 over x raised to power what r that i don't know so this is equal to 10 combination r x raised to power 10 minus r then x raised to power according to indices minus r if you want to remove one over so if you do that you're going to have 10 combination r x raised to power indices said if you have times you should add so it's going to be 10 minus r minus r which will give you minus 2 r okay so now compare this one now this is now since i'm looking for the constant term i'll say that x raised to power 10 minus 2 r is equal to what x raised to power 0 because if here is equal to 0 we have only the constant term so let us find our r this will cancel this to have that 10 minus 2 r is equal to 0 therefore r is equal to what 10 divided by 2 which is what 5 so if you have that r is 5 my answer is simply come back and put it here which is 10 combination what 5 x raised to power what 0 because if you put it here 2 times 5 10 10 minus 10 0 so the constant term is just 10 combination 5 okay let's check our option there 10 combination 5 and 10 combination 5 means what 10 factorial all over 5 factorial then 10 minus 5 factorial which is 10 factorial all over what 5 factorial 5 factorial so if you not do that you will not get your answer so my answer is um 252 252 252 okay so you can try it so that is that let's move to the next one question number 56 question number 56 question number 56 said find find the find the print principal argument argument find the principal argument of z is equal to 1 over i okay now there are conditions for principal argument solution you need to note it down there are conditions for principal argument if we have that um the first condition is um when x is um greater than zero okay when x is greater than zero if uh if x is greater than zero my principal argument is simply theta which is equal to the tan inverse of um, y over x okay then the next one is that if if x is equal to zero now if x is equal to zero has two conditions and the condition is that um uh Sorry about that. I think I need to find out something. I think I have, I have misplaced something. So maybe we'll stop here and our next video will continue with that question. I have missed the conditions for principal argument.